U.S. Air Force member charged with kidnapping and raping Japanese schoolgirl. A U.S. military plane takes off at the Kaneda U.S. Air Force Base in Kaneda, Okinawa, Japan, on August 24, 2023. Tokyo CNN. Japanese prosecutors have charged the U.S. Air Force member with allegedly kidnapping and raping an underage girl just before Christmas, Christmas last year, Okinawa police confirmed to CNN on Wednesday. Brennan R. E. Washington, 25, was indicted on March 27 on charges of the non-consensual sexual intercourse and the indecent kidnapping, a court spokesperson in Naha, Okinawa's capital, told the CNN, adding that the U.S. military handed the servicemen over to the Japanese authorities to the same day. Uh, Washington was released on bail and transferred to the Kadena U.S. Air Base in Okinawa for custody, according to a government spokesperson. His trial will be gone July 12, according to Naha District Court Spokesperson. The court spokesperson told the CNN they do not have any details regarding the airman's legal representation. The prosecution comes at a time when Washington and Tokyo are depending their military alliance, in part as geopolitical tensions rise as with both China and North Korea. The alleged rape is the latest in the history of criminal cases involving U.S. personnel in Okinawa, home to one of the largest U.S. foreign military bases, and could exacerbate tensions with the residents who have long opposed the presence of American troops and weaponry in the island. The presence of a V-22 Osprey Detroiter uh, Military aircraft have also been a regular source of anger and protest in Okinawa following the series of recent crashes and noise complaint. Okinawa Governor Danny Tamaki told the reporters Tuesday the allegations of rape and kidnap were extremely regrettable, adding it was necessary to strongly protest against the U.S. military and other related organizations. The governor also said that his office will take a tough stance in dealing with the situation. Washington, the indicted serviceman, was sustained with the 12 18 Logistic Readiness Squadron at the Kadena Air Base in Japan, according to the U.S. Air Force, which confirmed his rank and service record to CNN. The 8th Wing is aware of a sexual assault allegation against the Kadena Airman involving a Japanese citizen. 18 Wing spoke a person, first Lieutenant Elvin. G. Nelson told the CNN Wednesday, "We understand that uh, we understand and share the local community's concerns regarding this case." So Nelson said, adding that wing leadership was deeply concerned by the severity, severity of this alleged crime and has been working with the local authorities to investigate the allegations. All U.S. service members are expected to all uphold the highest standard, and the U.S. military is committed to holding accountable those who, the, those who were convicted of a criminal act, the wing spokesperson said. The indictment comes nearly 30 years after three U.S. servicemen raped the 12-year-old Okinawa schoolgirl in 1995, sparking the backlash against the U.S. military on the island. In 2016, the rape and murder of the 20-year-old woman by the former U.S. worker in Okinawa triggered the mass protest in the Iceland capital, with tens of thousands of residents demanding the U.S. move its bases outside of Okinawa. The fallout resulted in curfews for U.S. personnel on the Iceland. In another crime involving U.S. personnel in Japan, a U.S. Navy official killed it. 
to Japanese nationals so while driving down Mount Fuji in 2021. Masa Masataka Okano, Japan's vice minister for foreign affairs, called it for stricter dis discipline and lodged a protest with the U.S. ambassador to Japan, Ram Emanuel, on March 2007. Uh, 2000, March 27th, the day Washington was indicted, for, according to the Japanese Foreign Ministry, CNN reached out to the U.S. Embassy in Japan, which said it was aware of the case but not will comment. The embassy told the CNN in the phone call to contact Cadena Air Base, where Washington was based, for information on the case. CNN has contacted Cadena Air Base for comment. Japan and the U.S. have the mutual defense alliance and DK's old military partnership that has only been depended in recent years by re regional threat, particularly North Korea and the ever more assertive China. U.S. President Joe Biden met with the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and the South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol at Camp David in August 2023 in the show of solidarity and the force against Beijing in what Biden hailed as the new era of cooperation the three powers committed to the yearly trilateral summit intelligence sharing and annual military exercises CNN's Haley Blitzky contributed to this report